So we fear. Oh, look, there's our sky breeze. We're going to have no time. We're going to have to go in there and throw down our bags. Hopefully our bags are HID lights. Very nice. Huh? Oh, no, you done it. They're not HID lights, they're CFLs. Oh, fancy schmancy. Wow, a kitchen. There's your Merkler wave. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's very nice. Power. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. The cabinetta rubs on the wall. Yeah, well, you know, you'll have it on these big jobs. Ooh. So our luggage is not here. Can you see the Contempo Mickey? He's cute. Uh-huh. Oh. No, they did not bring our luggage over. That's a kick in the teeth. Yeah. Since we're on the monorail, we're all by ourselves, yeah. and we can't do anything, well, we can finally talk. Yeah. What do you want to talk about on this trip? We can talk about our stay at Bay Lake as it is so far? Yeah. It's awesome. It is. I love it. So we've been here two mornings, I guess two nights, and then two mornings. Beds are super comfy. Yeah. Beds are comfy. You know what? Hold on. There we go. So the very first day we got here was a split stay in the middle of the day. Yep. Uh, our reservation was actually ready while we were at the parks, yep. so we never came over here and looked at anything. Uh, but when we finally did come over here, they had brought our bags over, but they were not at the room. So we had to go track them down. Yeah, they were with bell services. Um, that's probably a normal thing, I would say. Like, if they... Like if your room is ready before the luggage gets there, so it's always going to get double checked. Which so we did go to your room. We didn't do. Right. Well, we had a lot of money and not party on. A lot of things to do. Yeah, and then we um we also had a reservation at Ohana. We were running late from studios, and so we um we did not. 
we did not plan transportation very well, so we were running late for Ohana, and we also um, had tech bags with the concierge desk. Awesome. Alright, so we had this dude named Robbie who hooked us up with a what a grace period at Ohana because yes, we were absolutely Ohana. gonna miss. Yeah, he called Ohana for us and said, Hey, they're gonna be like thirty minutes late. And um and then he also because the Bell Services person wasn't there, he walked over to Bell Services and came out with our luggage for us. So right, we right, did. right. Oh, so it yeah, was awesome. That we was went good. above and beyond, it was great. So I don't know if that's a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sent to my cast compliment on the, the app there. Don't know if that's awesome. typical of Disney in general or just of the nicer hotels. I feel like when you get a nicer hotel, you also probably get a nicer experience. Yeah, the expectations are better. Right. First morning waking up, oh, the bed was comfortable. We were dog tired, so we would have probably slept comfortably on the floor at that point. But the bed was great. It was, the bed uh, was a queen size bed. Yes. Yeah. Fat, thick, fat mattress, thick, fat pillows. Yeah. I feel like we were just as tired getting into Pop Center, the two nights that we spent there. Yeah, fair. So when you're really tired, you can sleep anywhere. Yeah, Air but I slept do. better in Bayland Tower. Okay, fair. It was just more comfortable for some reason. It was more home feeling. Yeah. Pop Century feels like a hotel, mm-hmm. and Bayland feels like stale. a condo. Yeah. Or a apartment. Yeah, it did feel... You iced me out with the air conditioning. I love cold air. <laughs> we sat out on the balcony. No, we didn't. I think we just walked out there and looked at the view for a minute and then came back in and went to bed. We just got a good tip. There are only three ice machines at Bay Lake Tower. Three. Three. They're on floors four, nine, and 14 on the north side near the elevators. Well, I'm sure it comes as no surprise, we got interrupted last night on the monorail. So I'm going to try to finish this video up by myself. As you look a little bit over there at Bay Lake in the pool, my camera's going to fog up and I'm going to wipe the lens and then we're going to be okay. All right, that's better. It's our last day here and we're getting ready to check out. We slept a little bit more later than I wish we had, but here we are. It's about, it's almost 8 o'clock. We have to leave here in 40 minutes. Ah, I really did just wake up and run out of bed. So, the food beer was, was good, but I think it was acceptable. It's about what you could get anywhere at a Disney resort. They have a lot of stuff here, um, but we didn't experience it. They have like a, a activity room, and then they have the pool. We walked down there last night, and I didn't get a lot of film of the pool because there's people there, and I think it's... It's not just rude, it's also kind of weird to film other people, especially when they got their kids out. They have a fire pit at the pool. It looks like a gas fired fire pit, but it wasn't running last night. The sign says the fire goes from dusk to close the pool, and it wasn't going. And they also have the beach, but we didn't go sit there. We kind of walked around the pool, looked a little bit, and we came back up here. It's very pretty down there. It's, it's, it's incredibly pretty. Mm. There's a pool restaurant. No. Yeah. There's a pool bar and it's got bathrooms. And I didn't go in there like I did at Pop Century. But I imagine it's probably very nice. It's, a, it's an incredibly nice room. It's, it feels like an apartment or a condo, not like a hotel like pop century like the budget resorts feel like hotels because just the way they're they're mm, what's the word <clears throat> the way they're decorated the way they're laid out this actually feels like you could spend some time here and be fairly comfortable that said the room itself is a little bit on the small side if you were going to stay uh, as a family two of us was perfect we could have stayed here all week and never felt cramped there's a decent sized fridge, there's a microwave and a full size coffee maker. No stove, nothing like that, but the bigger rooms do have all that. We got a chance to tour a DVC, whatever they call it, a bigger room. And we'll definitely throw some of that footage in here as well, figuring out how to break this all up footage wise. We talked about how the food here is good, but you can get it at a lot of Disney resorts. The location of Bay Lake Tower itself is very convenient. Contemporary is right across a breezeway, sky, skyway, skywalk, where the 
monorails live, and you can take a monorail to lots of different places. There is a bus route at Contemporary. Oh, I think it's worth noting, last night we took the bus to and from Disney Springs. That's about a 30 minute commute. So, not short, but within walking, why not walking distance? Within driving distance, and it's free. The walk to Tragic Kingdom is about 10 or 15 minutes, and you can get there. And that, that's all my knowledge. Andrea would tell you more because she's smarter about those kinds of things. So convenient, food is good, it's well appointed, it's a very nice place to be. They've got a lot of things to do. Uh, if you're a family, a small kids for sure, but I think this place caters to a wider range of age than, you know, the budget resorts. And I'm gonna sign it off there. We're still a YouTube channel in its infancy. I appreciate you doing the engagement work I and mean, it's engagement that helps us grow if you like this if not you know go ahead and double click that this guy button this like button and you know, man I'm gonna, I'm gonna refilm that really appreciate you watching this video hope it guys gave you the insight you needed to make the decision to stay here see you guys in the next one now here's a picture of the room as for it ah <laughs> here's a video of the room after it's been lived in this is a very comfortable room. Here's a style cue that tells you that you're living in a high class place. These rounded corners are really hard to do. Not really hard to do, but it's a lot easier to do a square drywall corner than that. It does cost extra. So you get that and that, that's a feature we see on nicer houses, not apartments and starter homes, so-called starter homes. I pointed, out in the, in the, pointed it out in the DVC room, but it's here true to the occupancy sensor and the exhaust fan oh come on go on now darn you anyway the, the exhaust fan doesn't come on until you're in the bathroom so if you're if you're sitting on the toilet i think i said this in the dvc room if you're sitting on the toilet for a long time no in the dvc room we looked at oh okay yeah um if you're sitting on the toilet for a long time the fan might go off and then you kill your family Nice, but it's just a tub. In fact, a lot of the design cues in here are the same as what we saw in that DVC room. So that's either good or bad, I guess, if you like it or not. These things are tile. I was messing with them last night. They're kind of cool. That's very, like, 1960s. I like it a lot. So it's so Bay Lake Tower. So there was something else I wanted to point out when I came in here, and I don't remember what it was. I guess... Uh, that's it. We're going to leave now. This is it. This is when we check out. Goodbye, room. <laughs> the old trick room. And for what it's worth, we were in room 7709. Goodbye, room. See you again one day. Goodbye, Space Mountain. See you in a couple months.